Product Management Assignment 1 by Deborah Spence. Hello, welcome to my lab. Today we're exploring and analysing how to generate income by producing two products from an innovation patent. My specialty as a cosmetic chemist is active skin care and use vitamins and peptides that are extremely expensive. The patent gives my company a competitive edge over other active skincare manufacturers and will help in raising funding. But could this invention be a disruptor like the iPhone or the Uber? Or is the mixer just an improvement of what is existing? The mixer is a clean design product that replaces three machines. The reason for developing the mixer was to re reduce the time and waste costs when formulating skin samples or one-off consumer products. In the industry, the standard for waste is about 5 to 20% of your cost. I have reduced that to 2% for this invention. And the production time is also reduced to 40%. The aim of this assignment is to find two products for the business using this patent invention. Under the tr traditional method, it can be sold, licensed, purchased or used to gain a return on the investment. But innovation methods, there is three other ways. We can open source the invention and invite co-developers to improve and create a greater market share like Elon Musk. Or we could find new uses for the invention like Viagra is designed for lowering blood pressure. Or just further develop the invention to either produce a new product is there a hidden potential outside the original business intent for the mixer to increase its business success and gain funding, which is very important for startup companies like myself? So let's start brainstorming on different products. When brainstorming, and ident we are trying to identify product lines, product bundles, product modules, product platforms, they could be have connection to the invention and the business. Product lines. Who could use this invention? Well, there's several. There's the bespoke business skincare manufacturers like myself, cosmetic chemists, compound chemists, natural parts, art, artists, and education institutions. But what if we product bundle? grouping a couple of products into one package to solve a consumer's need by adding different stirrers, adding green ingredients, bottles, labels, formulas, education support are all different types of product bundles. Can the product be put into a module, create an interchangeable parts to meet the needs of various users by changing the stirrer, by adding heating and cooling pads, bottle label printing etches, various motor size and speeds, various bottles and containers and pads and holders, and various automation of product manufacturing through the process. The final brainstorm is the product platforms. The product using similar raw ingredients or production methods using the mixer, personal care products, Niche down to skincare, makeup, hair care, body products, perfume. We could go to pet care, home cleaning products, pharmaceutical products, naturopathic products, basic painting products. So let's analyse the market to see the validity of any of these product ideas. There is three potential markets the personal care product market, the pharmaceutical market and the artistic market. As the patent has just been granted and the product is in the introduction of the product life cycle, it is important to find the innovators or early adapters of any of the markets. It is important to attract these innovators and early adapters, which, though it's not guaranteed, will help the success of the, the product. It is important to understand the various size of the markets and the options within those markets. It was found that there is several markets that could successfully support 
the introduction of the mixes products that we have discussed previously. The skincare market, especially the custom skincare niche, is worth $20 billion. It merged with the merged with do-it-yourself artisan niches that is growing at 38% and the artistic industry of $43 billion. These are all areas that we could further research. Let's analyse the market further. The most attractive market segment is the personal skincare industry due to the size and variety of the opportunities to either the user or the seller of the Mexa. The expected growth rate of, the, of this sector in Australia is at currently at 10.1%. In the startup phase, we're looking for innovators and early adapters. Both groups are risk takers in various degrees of, and has social connection. Having a large array of information on the product the solution it offers and the benefits it offers will provide them with the information that they need. It's important to provide them a means to be able to give them feedback and publicity. Because the core of the current business is active skin care, of all the three potential markets, we will be looking at the personal care industry and finding two products for those industries. The first product is a multi-mixer. By further developing the product line to enable the mixing system to be used in manufacturing sustainable mass <coughs> customised skin care, we will be building from the original desire to reduce waste and enable multiple production of multiple formulations in one time. There is no competitors for a multi-mixer for the customised skincare manufacturing and low competitors in the customised skincare manufacturing. The closest competitor at the moment is a Russian company called IC Labs Individual Cosmetics. To make this product class as sustainable, it will need to understand and implement the required factors highlighted in the Bruno paper. As illustrated in Figure 3, Product 2. There is a growing awareness of the hazards of everyday skincare and household products. Plus, with pollution and environmental impacts from big manufacturing company, has seen a rise in the demand for natural and do-it-yourself products. Product 2 is a mixing bundle developed, manufactured for the do-it-yourself artisan and bespoke personnel care product manufacturers that are targeting this market. This market is predicted to reach $22 billion in sales by 2024. Do-it-yourself personnel care products has grown 38% over two years. Competing mixes is kitchen mixes, catering mixes, laboratory mixes, fillers and containers. Focusing on product number two, we have developed a value proposition. Firstly, we will look at the customer's point of view or side of the quadrant. We'll look at the customer's jobs. Customer jobs is basically the customer needs that has to get done. The next quadrant is the customer's pains or fears that would drive them to purchase the product. The next quadrant is the gains or the wants the must-haves that a customer would be looking for from the product. We will now look at the product side of this matrix. First, we will look at the product and services that the mixer bundle will include. We will now look at the pain-relieving side of this product. It is the benefits that this product will be giving to the customers. The last quadrant is the gain creators that this product produces. It's the experience, the feel. It sums up the total combination of the features and the benefits of the product. On a final note, understanding there is a demand, there is a growing industry, and there is 
viability for this product, it could turn into a cash cow or a rising star product.